Foundation. It's your boy Reed. Y'all already know I'm always up to some man. So let me sit this down because it's gonna make a lot of noise. And we're gonna jump right into it. So I got some ski masks. And I've been getting a lot of questions about beanies and ski masks. And I just never got around to really showing y'all. And of course it's crazy because it's hot out now. And it's almost summer, but you know, it is what it is. People ain't wearing ski masks to stay warm. But yeah, man, I want to show y'all how y'all can heat press ski masks, what material I recommend using, and then also, you know, how to heat them without warping it. Because if you know, like I know, it's so easy to warp these ski masks and beanies too, to the point where it loses texture. I mean, not loses texture, but loses form. And then it'd be super loose and then it look all warped and stretched out and it won't look, you know what I mean, how it look right now and good no more. So yeah, when I first started doing heat press, and trying to do it, I was trying to use regular vinyl, reflective, and different type of vinyls, and uh, flop and suede, the suede and flop. I tried to use that on some beanies. I did that one time. It lasted a little while, then eventually it came up. But trying to heat it to make the flop stick was where it warped the beanie. So it actually warped the beanie because it flop has to heat it at like over. I want to say like I don't. I can't remember the exact temperature, but I want to say like three twenty or something like that, three thirty for like. 20 30 seconds so that's a long time to press a beanie you know what i mean you really can't even press a beanie for like 10 to 15 seconds because after about 15 20 seconds it's definitely gonna get too hot and start warping if you ask me so i should have got one of these to show y'all how it look when they mess up but you know we ain't gonna mess nothing up we're gonna do them a one so i already did one of these i got nine more i did one in pink just to show them how it was gonna come out it came out dope and then he was like that let's go and run all of them so yeah I'm gonna stamp a logo right here on the center of the head, and then we're gonna do a logo right here on the um, right up under the eye or whatever, because that's the design that we came up with yesterday. I'm like, let me just show them right quick, man. So, jumping into what material I recommend. The material that I recommend is 3D foam, puff, or whatever y'all wanna call it. You know what I mean? That's the vinyl that's gonna make this work perfect. So, basically, I say 3D foam is best because with 3D foam, it is low heat so with low heat material you know what i mean you don't have to heat up the beanies as much which causes it not to warp and not to stretch out and lose its form so with 3d foam i heat my 3d foam and all of it all colors at 290 degrees fahrenheit and they always come out perfect and i heat it for about 12 seconds you know what i mean and it'd be good like and no matter what i put it on it always come out clean long as the, the pressure is even with my padded pillows then it'd be good so yeah that's what i would say like, if you're going to use beanies or ski masks, I would recommend puff design uh, materials, material that you can do puff with, and then I would recommend solid design. So, I'm going to show y'all what I mean by solid designs in a second when I cut out all of the black 3D that I'm going to put on here so y'all can know what I mean by solid, which is just going to make it hold its form because the only thing that makes these look weird is like, just say I put a word on here, like, uh, just say we put create on here and time new roman and you put it right here going across the head when you put it on it's going to stretch and all the letters on the word is going to spread apart and it's going to look all out of shape and crazy so that's why i say solid design like if you was going to put something like okay let me see what i got right here so i would put something like this like okay if i were to put this right here and puff this would be cool because it's more solid you know what i mean the x's ain't really going to get out of shape too much but this not even as solid as I was saying. I'm, when I cut out the real design, y'all gonna see exactly what I mean and how it holds its position. And if the hat stretch, it don't make the design stretch out or the material mess up. So yeah, man, I'm gonna cut them on out. We're gonna jump right into it. We're using black 3D foam today. We got nine ski masks and we're just gonna do one of each color right quick to show y'all and then I'm gonna press the rest up. Go in another room, get pictures, do what I do best. And that's what it is. All right, y'all, so this is the design we're working on today, as y'all can see. So, yeah, we're going to cut these out. It's ten, this 10 of each, actually. I just always cut out one extra everything. So, just in case one mess up or something, you know, I ain't got to be stressing over it. It's already fixed. I got an extra one cut out, so I can easily just go into press it. I ain't got to cut nothing else out. I hate having to double back cut something out when I done already cut a full layout. So that's that. We're going to turn it sideways, though, the 10 inch way. We're going to run it.
TCB, TCB heart cross. That's all it is. It's solid. And when I say solid, I mean, see how the TCB is kind of stuck together and it's thick. So like when you do it, you press it, you're going to see how it come out. And then y'all going to see what I mean. And how something thick like this going to last longer than something that's super thin. Like... Let me see what I got in here. Like these words stretching out or whatever. But yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna press this right quick. 3D foam, black, 209 degrees Fahrenheit is what I recommend. It worked for all the people that I recommend it to. And I know low heat is the best thing for ski mask. So yeah, that's what it is. Let me get one of them right here. Matter of fact, let me just get all three of them right here. Oh, that's the pink. That's that. So basically, for my scissors, it. Ugh. I'm gonna take one of these just to show y'all what it's gonna be looking like. Take this whole little row off. Take that whole little row off. And also, I try to clip all of the uh, transfer. Like clip as much as you can so that when you clip it, it won't be, um, when they lift up, you won't have to worry about that pulling up the design or getting stuck to the, um, the cotton. We're gonna take these off. Boom, boom, boom. Clip these. Now I'm gonna clip them down. I might well go ahead and clip it now. That'll be for the pink. All right, so we're just gonna move this. Move this, move this, slide this down. Y'all can see it's on the pink right there. Boom, boom, boom. Got one on the orange. I ain't got one for the green yet, but it don't matter because we're gonna get one in a second. You know what I'm saying? And y'all might hear something in the background. You know, it's other people here, so might hear a little talking, but overall, it's the office. This is what go down. We always working. So yesterday, I want to say I did it like this. Yeah, I did it like this. So it was like this. Boom, both of them were like this. Well, the, I did a pink one yesterday, and it was like this. I feel like, was it like, yeah, it was like that. Okay, so. That's what it is, y'all, as y'all can see. Boom, and we're gonna do one on the green, too. Slide this right here, slide this right here. As a matter of fact, I might well go on the trim one because now I just feel like it don't look right. Oh, you got that thunder? That thunder coming, man, it's about to storm. I'm gonna go on the slap there right there. And we're gonna go on the slap this right there, too. That's the first three. So look, y'all see how quick it's gonna be? This ain't gonna take no time. I already got three done, basically. Cause I got three of them already cut out. Boom. Slide that right up under there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's what it is, y'all. So yeah, that's what it is. Let's zoom out. And I got another project over here. This is somebody else's um, project or whatever. But yeah, TCB, this is the design that I did yesterday. 3D foam black, all of this is solid. And when they put it on, cause it's gonna have to stretch. You know they're gonna, it's gonna have to stretch. So when they put it on, you want something thick and solid like this so that when it stretch, this won't stretch with it because the material is so thick. It has something to adhere to the cotton more than just like a thin wording or like if it was just like, like I said, like, uh, like how if I got this on here and this going to stretch, all the letters are separated. So it's going to stretch with it and it's not going to look right unless they squeeze it back together. But overall, we're going to go ahead and press these. I already got the uh, heat press at 290. So yeah, let's knock that part on out, man, and get these out the way. these on over here i just bring it right i'm not gonna press them now if you want to you can press them all at one time but i'm not gonna do that just because i want to be cautious with it and i don't got time for nothing to be messing up today i need this done one time you know what i'm saying so and i don't need the padded pillows because these ski masks actually came with like some little inserts so whatever these inserts is now i would recommend trying to find these because I'm sure this definitely helped me uh, press it real good yesterday, but I would just turn it sideways and only press the top. Like you don't have to press the whole, you know, the whole ski mask if you don't need to, or if it's a beanie, you don't have to press the whole beanie. So yeah, here we go. Boom, we're gonna do this right quick. We're gonna do this. Now watch how this come out now. It's gonna be dope. Let me make sure I got to press it up too far. All right, here we go. Boom. There we go. Take it our money as fast as possible. Just because you don't want it. You don't need no extra heat on the ski mask. Oh, snap. These super crazy, bro. Let me hit the pink while I'm right here. Ain't no sense of waiting. Gonna slide that on up under there and press the pink. Oh, these came out hard, though. Y'all see what I mean? You see what I mean? And it take the texture of the design of the ski mask. Alright, bet. That's that. That's the pink. Take that on off of there. 
take that one off of there. Boom, look at that, bro. Look how clean it is. And that's just one press. I could press it again if I want to, but I know with the ski mask, once they put it on, it's gonna stretch and stuff. So it's gonna take the texture that it's supposed to. And then if you notice on the ski mask, it kind of take the texture of the ski mask. You see how you can see the lines in it? These hard, bro. But you see what I mean by solid. So like now when he stretched this design, it's still gonna stay in its place. It ain't gonna be all stretched and too far out and break up, you know what I'm saying? So. Let me bring these back to the table right quick. All right, so as y'all can see, the finished products, boom. We're gonna take these in the photo room in a second, get pictures of them, you know what I mean? Get video for the Instagram, Twitter, website, gallery, social media, all that stuff. And then that's it, we're gonna be out, man, you know what I mean? Just something slight, I just wanted to show y'all how you can press these without warping them and then what material I recommend, which is the puff. It's more close, it's the closest thing you're gonna get to embroidery. That's what I think when it comes to vinyl. Cause regular vinyl ain't gonna get it. You gotta heat it up too far. And all the other vinyls have to be heated up too far. This is like one of the lowest heat vinyl material that you can use. So yeah. And they come in different colors, so you can mix it up. These finished products, as y'all can see. Quick press, that didn't take no time. Orange. Safety orange, safety green, safety pink, or neon, or whatever you want to call it. Black 3D puff. Solid design, thicker design, something that even if it's stretched, you ain't gonna, it ain't gonna stretch this because the puff, the material is so thick. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna last. You can wash it, all that good stuff. So that's that, man. That's the whole thing, though. Some right quick, though. So yeah, I recommend puff. It don't matter the color. And I re recommend solid design some thick and bold like this tcb and thick and bold like that so when they stretch it still look good and it don't look all warped yeah and if you're using puff try it on 290 degrees fahrenheit and see if it don't do you any good you know what i mean i don't know what most people use their temperature at, but that's what i recommend and it always worked good so yeah other than that i just wanted to make this video right quick i'm gonna get on up out of here Subscribe to the channel, and I ain't going to show these no more. I feel like I'm going in a loop. <laughs> I'm out.